So today here we have um, 2008 Range Rover Sport and we are going to install trailer harness, um, trailer harness and trailer hitch but trailer hitch is pretty easy process so we will focus here how to install trailer harness. Um, I have already removed um, right, actually left tail light here. Um, the job, this job starts by removing these screws right here. So this tail light is screwed by these only two screws. You remove those two screws and it simply pulls out. So that's how easy it is. And then this this whole tail light is connected with this plug right here. Okay, so what's going on inside? Here you remove this side cover which is pretty pretty easy it just pulls out without damaging anything then you un you unplug this uh, 12 volt plug here uh, which is which goes right here then you remove um, only this type of thing the screw you remove right here it's you unscrew this and the cover which is right here it comes up after this, you easily remove this cover on this side. So once you access this area, you see this uh, green uh, plug, which is originally attached in this hole, like with this with, uh, kind of with this little um, holder, or I don't even know what what to name this. It, it goes here. So this green plug is kind of secured like that. So this green which I have now removed this cable this is original cable so this cable comes here so you see I have uh, already installed the new one so this is the old one so there is two plugs one plug which is shorter this shorter plug connects to the parking sensor and these parking sensors right here these parking sensors are connected with this plug so this is for that one so I already removed the old plug here and the longer one. This is for tail light, which is goes right here. All right. So this old old harness has three plugs. This green I already explained, which is goes in and connects with this green plug. And these two, it comes on in this hole, so it, it easily comes out. To shorter this video tutorial I have already installed the new one because it's pretty easy process not to explain much here so I have installed this new cable and you see that in addition this new cable has these two plugs which is uh, solely intended for trailer harness and the trailer harness which is there is a trailer plug so I have already installed there's a hole specially left for it and I have installed this trailer harness and this trailer harness this has two uh, plugs right here these two plugs and like these two plugs connects with these two plugs so you pretty much see the whole process once you connect this here and so for now we are not doing that but once you connect this here then we have here this green one which I have already explained what it is for and we have two we have two uh, gray plugs those two gray plugs are dead they have dead end they don't go to anything so this is intended for trailer and so your new harness comes with these three plugs one green and two gray these two gray is intended for these two uh, dead end plugs. So I'm gonna simply connect this gray to gray with these two gray and the green to the green <clears throat> And also don't forget to connect this ground white cable on the on the body of the vehicle So that's it. I mean once you connect these three and then you um, Secure all screws that we have already removed here you connect this to that 12 volt plug here you put back this uh, cover and 
then the last process is to connect this trailer harness with this one and the only thing remains is you you have to kind of secure these um, these cables not to touch this exhaust um, pipe because this exhaust pipe might make these um, cables hot and you might lose those cables actually lose connectivity so that's pretty much whole process in less than five minutes and then here you can simply install the trailer hitch this trailer hitch you can just simply google on, or on the ebay or search on the ebay and it's not expensive this hitch goes like that so there is a screws and you will figure out how simple it is so pretty much we have explained the whole process and this plug also has a screws four screws and those screws right here we have after I finish the whole process I'm gonna screw this on the body of the vehicle okay so thank you for your attention I think I try to explain as easy as possible and in a shortest period of time possible thank you um, a trailer hitch is a very easy process two bolts right here and the third bolt, bolt here you just uh, make it tight so this hitch is ready and now we are going to test how uh, if we did everything correctly, okay? So this harness, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to plug this trailer harness. I have this car, car holder trailer. Of course, I'm not gonna hold this car with this uh, uh, Range Rover, but uh, this harness will be good enough to test if we made every, uh, all, all connection for it. All right, so this is connected, and so the lights, and the lights are on, and I'm putting um, left turn light on, as you see right here. Okay, so as you see the uh, lights on the trailer are on, it means it is working, and also if this light is blinking here, which is. All right, so this means we corrected everything correctly. And Range Rover is ready to hold, to connect to the trailer and hold the stuff.